President Biden is claiming a major victory after making a compromise deal on infrastructure with senators from both parties, but it only includes a portion of the president's original infrastructure plan. As Ed O'Keefe reports, both sides still have problems with the deal. I'm a true bipartisan effort. President Biden on a victory lap after striking a bipartisan infrastructure deal. For a $579 billion plan that would invest in things like transportation, water projects, and broadband internet. Congress would pay for it in part by boosting the IRS's budget to go after tax cheats, diverting billions in unused COVID relief funds, and by selling some of the nation's strategic oil reserve. But not everyone is celebrating. It's all pretty pathetic. It has to be combined with a second, much more robust, adequate package. That second package is a significantly larger and more expensive plan that includes so-called human infrastructure, like child care, green energy projects, and social programs, and has no Republican support. Democrats would have to pass that bill through reconciliation, a process that only requires a simple majority vote. There won't be an infrastructure bill unless we have a reconciliation bill. If only one comes to me, I'm not, if, if this is the only thing that comes to me, I'm not signing it. It almost makes your head spin. An expression of bipartisanship and then an ultimatum on behalf of your left-wing base. But the president said he's confident more Republicans and Democrats will sign on to the bipartisan proposal. What is it about the conversations you've had recently with Republicans that gives you so much hope? I trust them when they say this is a deal, we'll stick to the deal. In another show of bipartisanship, lawmakers who've been working on a long-awaited bill on police reform say they've got an agreement in principle and will share other details in the coming weeks. Meanwhile, this morning, Vice President Kamala Harris is on her way to the U.S.-Mexico border for the first time since being tapped by the president to lead the response to the illegal immigration crisis. She, along with the Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas, will visit a Customs and Border Protection facility near El Paso and meet with local advocates. Anthony? Ed O'Keefe, thank you, Ed.